A big thank you to Apollo Projects for providing the funding. It's really helped our kids to have more opportunities. Gaining the extra funding really goes a long way to providing opportunities. We are low on the socioeconomic index, so our students haven't got $200 when we're going away for these trips. Students often miss out on opportunities because of um, the financial commitment. More often than not, the student has to give up their sport. With the funding from Apollo Projects, we've been able to lower travel costs to allow more students to participate in secondary school competitions. Your generosity has enabled us to enable these students be able to play in these sports, be able to just be the best versions of themselves. We're really grateful and I cannot express that enough about how, how and what it means to us. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This isn't about long distance calling, technology, or living overseas. Go ahead, one more bid. Thank you. We're going to go once. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Bailey's finding buyers that others can't. Want to catch a fuel bargain with Caltex and Supergold? Scan your Caltex app, flybys or airpoints for six cents off per litre with Pumped. You beauty! And show your Supergold card for an extra two cents off. Ah, feels good. Since 2022, New Zealand Carbon Farming has been a partner in our school sports series, which is a collection of national sporting events that are held throughout New Zealand. They've also committed significant funding to help local schools and the communities that they're a part of so they can achieve more with their sport programs. Having this funding, being able to use it specifically targeting sport and to promote sport in, in schools is, is hugely, hugely beneficial. As a small rural school, obviously travel is an issue for, for us. We compete often in the Waikato. We're a community who's driven by sport, but often uh, money and, and the cost of travel and cost of accommodation and uniform can be a, a barrier for some of our students. Our students are in an area where money is tight um, and opportunities for them is, is minimal. So creating more opportunities at school for our students to participate in sport is what we're wanting to do. So to be able to have the support of New Zealand Carbon Farming has been fantastic this year. We are very grateful for the funding. It's going to help a lot of our students here at um, Tikuti High School, especially one of our students, uh, Callum Headley. Um, he has made the New Zealand Kiorahi team. I'd just like to, to thank New Zealand Carbon Farming for their support of the college. Um, without the support, we wouldn't be able to offer everything we do to the students. Huge thank you to New Zealand Carbon Farming. Certainly the, the opportunities and the sponsorship that's been provided is pretty crucial for our school. A big thanks to New Zealand Carbon Farming for everything they've done for us. Without them, then we wouldn't look like this. <laughs>
Fakataka te hau ki te uru, fakataka te hau ki te tonga kia mā, kina kina kūta kia mā tara tara ki tai. He hia kia nō, he teo, he huka, he hauhunga, tihei mauri ora. Ah, no mai hara mai e te whānau, welcome to uh, Kirikiri Roa Hamilton and we have uh, Heretaunga, that's Hastings Boys High running out now and at number one we have Nara Nivalu, number two, Iosefu, number three, Lee, four, Richie, five, Paiwai. At number six, at our blind side, we have Kofanunga. At seven, uh, Kite. And eight, uh, McNaughton. At number nine is Brown. Ten, uh, two, Leo. And at 12, Lambert. 13, Rollins. 14, Lowe. Uh, 11, Robinson. And 15 is uh, Lambert. As we can see, Angai Tai Tamatani o Kiri Kiri Roa, that's Hamilton Boys High School making their way to the field today. And out comes the Moaska Cup, led by their leaders, Liam Sturm and Oli Mathis, I believe. So there's a lot on the line today at Te Whanau in this big clash for Super 8 glory. I know these two schools love battling in the past they've had a lot of tight matches uh, over the past uh, 10 years so despite the fact that uh, Kirikiriro has made it into the final and despite Hastings boys high winning twice the amount of games that they've lost unfortunately they're out of finals contention Hastings boys but they've got the Moaska Cup to play for so Lots on the line today for, for both teams as we transition into the mighty haka from both sides, Kiri Kiri Roa, to perform a Waikato Tani Whārau. As we look at their lineup today, it's number one, Palmer, two, McCarthy, three, Raybarts, number four, McEwen, number five, Arnold, six, Captain Liam Sturm, eight, Kokuhu, and at open side flank, Miller, number nine, Makaras, ten, Patuawa, twelve, Waitai Hainga, number thirteen, year eleven, Oli Gruen, 14, Hanna, at 11, Dupree Marshall, and 15, uh, Arangiwa Lunovic. So, he's both starting 15s, today at Tefano. It's a beautiful day here in Kirikiriroa. As we see the Moaska Cup is on the line. So, lots to play for here. As our referee, it looks to me like Grant Stewart's the man with the whistle today. 
And Heretonga will, will kick off first, a school that prides itself on their seven values, based around Akina. Their seven values, communication, diligence, integrity, courage, respect, empathy, and initiative. With a student roll of 800, Hiritonga, they are going to kick off. As we go high, it's just going to land just inside the Ruotiko Marua Patuawa. Gets the ball and he exits. It's quite a good kick, actually, and Hiritonga decide not to go go quickly. So we're going to have Ararangi uh, almost smack on halfway. So that's a good start from both teams. It was a a decent kickoff. Probably wanted to land that just before the 22, so they they can't exit on the full. But nevertheless, Hiratonga have the ball back. They fake the front slip. A little bit com- of confusion at the at the line out there, but they do have the ball as referee plays advantage. And no advantage as there's a double knock on there. So good call from the ref. We're going to have an early scrum to Heretonga. And I'm excited to see uh, what this front row does for Hastings. I, I know they have a solid coaching coaching uh, unit there down in Hastings. And they pride themselves on set peace time. As their halfback, Brown... Feeds the ball. Tulio has the ball, passes it off early. It's a nice backdoor play, a wraparound, but it's good defense there from Waitai Hainga. Brown again. Into the contact. And lots of line speed pressure here from Kitty Kitty. Oh, this is good stuff, but there's open space here, but they carry nice and early. Someone's jackling over the ball. It was. McCarthy, who's a bit of a specialist in that game. Oh, it's a pick and go. So it's nice work here from Heretonga. A bit of second phase play and an offload. Two offloads now. Another tip on pass, but unfortunately that's gone in the hand. So could he get it all? Have a chance here with McCarthy, who carries nice and strong. He's got an over the advantage line as Macross passes the ball out to Patuawa. Miss pass here for Waitai Honga, who throws the ball into space. It's messy, and unfortunately they've knocked that ball on. So it's advantage to Heretonga out on the edge, and they, and they still have the ball. It's free-flowing rugby nice and early here. Etefano, just a carry and a tip pass to ma- manipulate the defense, and we're going back blindside, so a few balls hitting the ground early. And the conditions are good. There's next to no wind here, Etefano. So hopefully both teams can clean this up as Heretonga go into contact again. Brown looking to clean up the sop, loppy ball, and it's, a, it's sloppy again. The, the passes aren't sticking. And I think both teams need to go back to the drawing board and just get those little one percenters right as referee. Grant Stewart, he's got a scrum here to Kiri Kiri Roa. And it's a perfect opportunity for Kiri Kiri Roa. They pride themselves on their midfield scrums. We've got a 3-3 split here. So I'm going to be interested to see uh, which way they decide to go. And I'd be looking to go right side as Hastings have two there. But the scrum turns the other way. So Mac Russ has decided to give the ball to Patuaba, who makes a nice carry. And both teams guilty of pushing the extra pass. They just need to keep it nice and simple here. And... I'm sure Hastings will look to exit or use their advantage. And it's a penalty, actually, as someone comes straight through the side there. And he's, it's Tom McCarthy. So just got to look after their discipline as uh, Hiritonga look to uh, find the touchline through uh, Tulio. Oh, no, he hasn't kicked this out. So Patuawa catches the ball and gives it out to Arangawa Lunavachu goes again to Hana and he tries to plug the corner it's not a bad kick actually as Hastings tidy the up it's 
right out on the edge. So let's see what Kitty Kitty will do. They try and attack the breakdown. It's not really on. And just a nice solid carry here as we continue play. Just outside the Rua Teko Marua. It's a tip. What a tackle there from Kitty Kitty Rua. And they're blitzing that ruck, and it's their ball, Mac Russ, out here to Koko, who, who's a real strong ball carrier. Rangawa Lunovic out to the edge, and Captain Liam Sturms found a bit of space. Russ out to McCarthy, and he uses a bit of footwork to go into contact. They're still over their vantage line, so let's see what sort of play they can come up with here as they... they Keep the structure simple, and they go same way. And unfortunately, there's a knock on. But referee Grant Stewart, he's, he had advantage out on the edge here, just around the Arua uh, Tekoma Arua. So it's offside there from Heretonga. And I'm interested to see what Kiri Kiri want to do here. As we look at the, the the Super Eight standings, we have Napier boys on top with. 27 points but one game in hand and Hamilton boys 25 points with one game in hand so essentially Kirikiriro just need to win this and they will see themselves back here next week so there's a lot to play for here Tefano is McCarthy looks to strike it the Dararangi it's good more territory here And we'll see where they want to strike. We're up, and it's an overthrow. Unfortunately, the ball's loose, and it's tidied up here. It's good work here from Hiretonga as they'll want to exit this as soon as possible, and that's exactly what they do. Kicking it down the throat of Curtis Hanna, who links up with Arangawa Lunovic. A little chip over the top, but it's not really on there. And it's, oh, it's a nice tidy-up play here from... I had it thrown with so, and I like, I like the idea of just kicking for territory because they were pinned down uh, their half. But wonder, there's another chip over the top here from Kiri Kiri Ro, and they're just giving away, guilty of giving away possession here at Tefano. So Hastings boys, they got an opportunity here just around halfway to make something with the ball, and that's what they do. Nice tip pass there. The number 14, he's got handy footwork low. Brown out to his number five, and it's a strong carry here from Richie. As we go, it's another little knock on there. So play continues. Referee Granchler, he's got the hand out, and I like the box kick here, trying to catch them off guard, but. He's caught advantage over, I believe. So it could very well be a, a rārangi here to Heretonga. Uh, With six, seven minutes in the game gone so far, we have a rārangi here to Heretonga. As they lift early, but the ball's nice and free here. And it's a crash play. And will they look to return or go same way? They do decide to return, and they do have some numbers here. It's really on. If they tip past the side, and that's exactly what they do. He's running down the sideline. That's Robinson with a good good carry. And Kitty Kitty all are doing what they can to disrupt it at the breakdown and slow down the, the play. As Eo Sifo... Has ball in hand and another return play. They like to try and catch the opposition off guard down the short side. And they're tightening this right up. Tip pass here. It's a good, strong carry there from the Hastings forwards as Richie goes again and He's making his way over the 
advantage line. Hastings have a great opportunity as Korkuhu gets physical here. And that's a great tip on pass there from Nara Nivalu. They're going to pick and go here. Etefano, it's definitely it's definitely on here as they continue to go short and just keep it nice and tight if they slow this down and make their way towards the posts. The opportunity's on and that's exactly what they do as Hiratonga look to go to work. Their, their forwards are big, strong ball carriers and they're dictating the pace of this game. As Iosefa tip passes out to his foot, but they've seen numbers here, so they do go wide. And it's on here, Fano. Yes, great work there from Hiratonga. That's a good build up and good continuity there from their full packs, and they've found the space and striked out wide. So that's 5 0 to Hiratonga versus uh, Kirikiriroa. And I really like the, the play there from Hiratonga. They were trapped just four or five minutes ago in their own 10-meter goal, and they've just put back-to-back -back kicks together. Kirikiriroa a little bit guilty of kicking away possession. And so Hiratonga got their hands on the ball and just chugged their way towards the try line using their forwards, finding the space and attacking the space uh, with precision and accuracy. So it's 5 0 here to Hiratonga on this. Uh, it's, it's an Atahua day today at the Fano. He looks to strike this conversion, and he's done it well. But it's just off to the side. So that's Rima Kitekore. Teko Miniti into the, the first half, and Kirikiriro are going to want to bounce back early here, knowing that they have a home final to play for today and to defend the Moaska Cup. As the forwards are stacked left, Katuawa ready for this restart, and he dabs it. Oh, and it's another, it's another knock-on. So we had a few knock-ons nice and early, and I'm not sure what's happening with the ball's slippery down there, but it is a beautiful day. There's no wind. The sun's out. The, the, the wet is gone. It's reasonably dry here, and... That's saying something in the Waikato win. 90% of the time it's either cold or foggy, so. We do have a scrum here to Kirikiriro. Mac Russ will look to strike and help his back line with quality ball. And he does give that to, to Painga. It's a wraparound play. I love this play. Patuawa hits Rengua Lunovic. It's a good run here. He's off to the try line. He slipped, but he's, he's found his feet and he's only towards the post. And that's a beautiful try there for Rengua Lunovic. And what a, what a strike back there from Kirikiriroa. It was a 9-12 wraparound play and Patuawa got around the corner there from his defenders and just plugged his fullback right into that hole there and he's Looked like he was going to trip up early there, Tefano, but he, he found his feet and, and he made his way to the try line and under the post, so should be a reasonably straightforward kick here. I, I, I don't want to jinx him, but... Good good fight back there from Kirikiriro. Patuawa lines us, and I have jinxed them, so my apologies there. 
So it's five apiece. Early days, but we're looking like this game's going to go down to the wire. It's a farm, though. As Heritonga work their way back to the halfway mark. Let's see how they can respond with. A Tulio tu to kick off. And he's left that. Oh, that's a perfect restart there. He's landed it just outside the 22. So could he get it all? Won't be able to kick this out on the full. So we'll probably just see a kick. Here from Arangi Walunovic, and he strikes that pretty well. He's found grass, and that's probably what you want there. Just tough situation. He knows he can't kick it out, so he's just plugged the corner. And 20 metres upfield. Both teams ready to continue this, this fuffoy. So looks like we've got a five-man line out here for Hidetonga as referee. Stewart tells Kitty Kitty Door to stop closing the gap. And they come forward. It's a fake. And good tidy ball there for Hiritonga. And it's a nice little play here with Lambert linking up. And referee's got his arm out, so they do have advantage. It's a more drive here. And could he get it all? have stopped it, but there's no advantage. So we're going back for the for the penalty. Right on halfway. And that's a good touch finder there. So good work there for from Apulio as Heritonga's number two, Yosefo. Big ball carrier. He's a strong, powerful workhorse. And I quite like their lineouts. They like the fake slip and then manipulate the defense. They've gone with a with them all here so and we could tell in the numbers they peel up and it's a good run here from their number one it's Narala Naivalu as Brown passes it off here to Leaf who carries strong into contact and Miller's trying to get over the ball but it's not on and this could be a penalty advantage here because McCarthy's in the ways he hasn't rolled out so Hastings will continue to work with their forwards and backs and because they have advantage, playing second phase is a good idea. As they're right out on the edge, Brown looks to see who's up for a carry, and that's the big number two, Yosefo. That's a strong carry from him, and we got a penalty five metres out from the try line here. This is prime position, and I'm very interested to know what Heretonga do. Looks like they want to scrum. I, it wouldn't surprise me with how much they put on their set piece whether they try and push the scrum over for a, for a penalty try or a scrum try so we'll see if Kuri Kuri Roa can match match their scrum power five metres out Heretonga striking hot they're looking out wide as well their drivers are delivering the comms so could he, could he do a two on the blind side here? They don't want an eight nine wraparound play. So they've looked after this blind side spot, and as a result, they've gone to the open. It's 10 with another wraparound. It's a good cover tackle there from Waitai. And they've tried to get into the breakdown early today, Kitty Kitty Door. Potentially guilty of offside, but referee lets it go. And now they're tightening it up, and they've gone with a sneaky pick and go they're two meters out here as another strong carry here for me or Sepo. they'll go to where with pick and goes even through the middle they like catching them out through the middle there and they've got all the ascendancy they've got numbers out on the left side here Heretonga and that's where they strike and a cut up pass is perfect and I, the space was there you could See Kitty Kitty Roa squishing in defensively to the breakdown, and as a result, uh, they are able to get the ball out wide. So 
That's 10-5. Te kou ki te rima. Hiritaunga up in the first half. And I'm sure their neighbouring school, Napier, are probably happy about that try. Haritonga Hastings boys with a pretty solid record. In fact, four wins, two losses. And as I said earlier, Tefano, despite the fact they've won twice the amount of games they've lost, they, they are unable to make the Super 8 final. That's how close, in particularly, the top five, six schools are in this competition. With a big win last week over Tauranga boys, 21-17. So... That essentially knocked out Tauranga from making the Super 8 final. As Hastings look to convert this try, it's a beautiful strike, but it's just wide. and The score remains. Teko Kiterima. Kiri kiri roa, they will need to figure out how they can up again. tighten up their Call defense around. as once Hiritonga get to their pick and go situations, they really bunch towards uh, the breakdown. So they just need to be careful on the edges defensively as Patuawa gets the restart. He's kicked it down the throat of the number four there. That's Richie and now they've kicked a high ball here for Kokohu. He passes it on to Ringo Alunovic. Carries strong, a good carry in to tackle as Mac Russ gives it off to uh, Raybart. And he gets over the advantage line as well. They're striking hot here, Kirikiriro, as they go same way. Numbers aren't there, so they're going to return play this. Patuawa with a bit of footwork. He stays on his feet. That's. Good work, he's broken two tackles and he's lost it into contact but referee says there's probably hands in the ruck oh no, it's through the side here, Tefano so it's going to be kiri kiri roa it's going to be their ball and they'll look to kick this out into the corner and I would assume go to their rārangi there they line out and probably more here. Great kick there from Patuawa. So they're in prime condition, five, six metres out from the try line. McCarthy, he needs to nail this throw. One of the best jekylers going around. And McEwen fakes it off and he's giving it to the captain, Liam Stern. But unfortunately, Kitty Kitty Roa have not thrown the ball in straight there. So, Grant Stewart, he's blown this for a scrum to hit it down. 10 5, 5 metres out from. Uh, the Hastings boys trolling. Would love to see their number eight McNaughton carry off the back here, then plug this down into the corner of Kiri Kiri Roa. And just a crash play here, they're keeping it simple. Um, they'll be gearing up for a exit and the referees help them as well because Kiri Kiri Roa haven't helped themselves and they were offside uh, at the scrum so a bit of a get out of jail free card here for Hiritaunga, Kiri Kiri Roa need to just sort out some of their discipline oh, 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 
And I believe that's the second time, unfortunately, that uh, Tulio hasn't found the touchline. So Patuawa out to Waitai Hainga, who gives this ball to Gruen. And he's tackled out on the edge there, and they want quick ball, and that's what they get with Patuawa. He's done well with some of his carries. They just need to settle this. They don't need to force that pass in. Good job there from Russ to tidy up that ball. There's, he's found space with a good nudge, and he's just overcooked it. So that's going to be a scrum, I believe. Kitty kitty, or just guilty of kicking away position. Just want to tidy up the short kicking game as we have a scrum. To Heretonga, just outside Tarua Teko Marua. As Brown looks to feed the ball. About 30 minutes in, here we go. McNaughton out to his back line. Oh, Dupree Marshall had a prime opportunity. Just couldn't quite clean that up. And it will be Kitty Kitty Law's ball. And the last time we were down here, we had a tidy wide strike from Kitty Kitty Law. They scored straight off the scrum, almost in the exact same position so really excited to see what they decide to do as the touchies come in and given Grant Stewart the spot for the scrum as both teams look to pack down out on the back line we have all backs from Kirikiriroa on the open Hunter reasonably deep, so it's an 8-9 move with Mac Russ feeding the boys going straight through the middle. He's offloaded to White Ohinger. Kitty Kitty Law, 10 metres out now. Off to McCarthy, who carries strongly into contact. We're going the same way as McEwen, I believe, continues play. And let's see if Kitty Kitty Law can pull faces here. They have had multiple phases around the corner and I'm picking they'll look to strike back the other way with a bit of finesse as Raybart's into contact Miller goes again it's a it's on here Oi! he tried to reach out early Fano, but now he, he's Half a metre from the trial line. They're going to pick and go, Kitty Kitty Door. And that's a pop pass to, I believe it might be McCarthy. And that's good. Good play there from Kitty Kitty Door. Hard, are we? From one edge to the other, they had multiple phases, then turned back the other way with a few cheeky pick and goes and then a pop pass. Off to McCarthy, so good try from him, and that brings our scores level. As we edge closer to half time, Etefano Patuawa lines up the conversion. And it's over, so Patuawa gives Kiri Kiri Roa the two-point advantage. It's te kou marua ki te te kou. And I believe not too far away from half-time, so Heretonga will kick off again through their number 10. 
Tulio. I, I really liked his last restart. He put it nice and high. They contested for the ball and a little bit deeper this time, but Kitty could it all look to tidy this up through Mac Russu. Gives it to McCarthy, the try scorer. And they look to kick here. But it's going to go through the hands because they've found space. And what does Dupree Marshall do? He's carried into contact. He wasn't held. So Mac Russ gives again the forge just in the transition. Good tip on pass there from Ray Butts. As Russ gives it to Patuawa. They're going to play with the ball inside their own 22. They're just trying to find space and they'll probably look to exit. And that's what Wyndham Patuawa does. But it's down the throat here for Hede Tonga. And they've given it off to their fullback. It's Lambert with a miraculous offload, but it works out well for him. Brown, he's looking for his forwards and the second rower carries hard into contact there. That's Richie. As they go to this edge, and this play's worked out for them a lot today. It's He's gone at the dummy. The dummy worked out perfectly. And Kitty Kitty all have problems on their right edge. That defensively they've been found out. There's space up there, and Hede Tonga have have iced that. They've seen the space, and the, Kitty Kitty all got to sort out their right edge at the moment because Hede Tonga have strike back instantly and that puts them in the lead te kaumarima ki te te kaumarua Three. So that's Toru, Piro, Kite, Arua. Here Tonga with the lead. And we're coming up half time. On this beautiful day in Kirikiriroa. Hastings boys line this conversion. He's been unlucky today. He's been striking them well, but the ball just drifted us, drifted away. So that that helps out Kitty Kitty Law. 15 12. Patuawa ball in hand. Referee Grant Stewart points up top. to the Kitty Kitty Roa forwards. Make sh- sure that they're on side, and he's nudged us just outside the Roa Teko Marua as a good tip pass there. And Hede Tonga have found a bit of space through the middle, but Kitty Kitty Roa have stripped us. Now Mac Russ gives it to McEwen, who carries into contact. Makes the advantage line as Patuawa directs the forwards to get around the corner. And Rahoruhi Palma, he's been given a tough ball there. So he's done well to keep the ball alive for Kirikiriroa as they blow out Heretonga's forwards. They're trying to attack this ruck. They don't want to give away their lead just before half time. McCarthy into contact. And we're going to go same way here, Russ. To Muller, who's he's just knocked the ball backwards, fortunately, but they're over the ball there, Hiritonga. Good blowout. And so Rangiwa Lunovic, he's, he's gone into contact too. So it's gone back. Waitai Hainga, he's got a bit of footwork. As Kirikiriwa seemingly going backwards. And they slow down play here. They just want to get back into their shape. And Korkuhu gives them a bit of continuity. Now McCarthy. 
Miller with a good carry, good ball placement, and uh, that's cheeky work there from Mac Russ. He's just throwing it straight into one of the Fords as he was a little bit in the way. So that's smart work. That's high IQ stuff there from Mac Russ to uh, milk that penalty there for Kitty Kitty Roa. And that gives them another opportunity just before half time to to find points on the board. Whether they want to go for the three or did they go for the line? I know it's three points here, so probably a smart play there. there. It's coming up half time. It's 15 12 with an extra Puru Pedal on the board it's it'll lock it up at half time so Patua was gonna line up this kick really interested to see how both teams use their bench today I know Kitty Kitty do I have a few strike weapons. Guys that have come back into the fray, the likes of Mitch Swan, the halfback, Kalis Putoko, and obviously the strong leader, Oli Mathis. All on the bench today for Kitty Kitty Doa. So Patuawa strikes this penalty. He's able to curve it back inside the post. So that's all locked up at Tefano at half time, and I'm sure both teams have a lot to say. Their coaches, Kitty Kitty Roa, need to defensively find some shape there and get numbers out on their right edge. Just tidy that up while Hede Tonga will want to continue keeping the ball in hand, tidy up a few little mistakes, but continue to use their forwards and striking wide with their back. So we're going to go to the half time break at Tefano. We'll be back with you uh, very shortly as we go to our sponsors. Nami. Being a rural school, travel is always a huge cost when playing sport at Central Hawks Bay College. With the funding from Apollo Projects, we've been able to lower travel costs to allow more students to participate in secondary school competitions. Where families have more than one child participating in sport and participating in more than one sport, the financial impact can be huge. Thank you to Apollo Projects for the huge difference you have made to our students' participation levels in sport. Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't about what we wore back in the day. We're going to go now. We're going once, we're going twice, no more offers. It's about being trusted to get a better result for our clients since 1973. Whoops, running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with Pumped Every Day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex. A big thank you to Apollo Projects for providing the funding to have Apollo um, run this program. Uh, not only for us, but uh, all, all the other schools, it makes a big difference to get some kids more active. The funding from Apollo has been spread across 14 um, team trips this year. It's been uh, a big help to them and they're, they're really appreciative um, of Apollo for being able to provide it for us. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay an App to speed on through. Oh yeah. Feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. This is an opportunity that we can't find out.
I'd like to say a huge thank you to Apollo for all their support with our sports gear and our surfboards. So the Apollo Project's um, sponsorship has been used to um, help our sports teams with new uniforms, with getting away to different tournaments. The pride on their faces when they see the new uniforms is just amazing. It's really lifted everybody's spirit. This isn't an ad about four-wheel drives. It's about knowing the place, as well as the locals. You found the place. That's a good start. Built by my great-grandfather. Ah, no mai hara mai ono e te whanau. We are at half time and the boys have had their oranges, so we're going to get straight back into this battle. And it is a battle. It's 15 apiece. Kiri Kiri Roa putting up the Moaska Cup today against Heretonga Hastings boys. And this second half is going to be absolutely gargantuan. And I know both sides will be looking to find an edge some way. Good facets of play here from both teams. As Patuawa looks to get this restart happening. And we're underway. It's a good kickoff. It's just past the door to Komarua. Here's the big number eight. It's McNaughton. Carries well, but. Discipline there for Kiri Kiri Roa lacking, and so there, Lambert, the fullback for Heretonga, is going to plug the corner here and take over the kicking duties. But he's done exactly what happened in the first half. Heretonga's just struggled to find the touch, the touch line of their penalties. And so, the, yeah, that's fair enough there for Mifru as well, because that was also high, so... Rengo Alunovic tackled high and now Kiri Kiri Roa have the penalty just on the halfway mark so I'm sure Wyndham will just want to find touch here and not worry too much about distance and he does exactly that, that's a good kick into touch and McCarthy, he, he scored a great try in the first half but he will want to fix up some of his line out mahi as Heretonga forwards, they're pointing at the attack and they want to get up in the air. So what will Kiri Kiri Roa do? They go to the back and it's it's an overthrow again. So we talked about line-out issues there for Kiri Kiri Roa. Heretonga with the pick and goes and ball's available. So Brown passes it off here for one of his second rowers and he's returned... Gives a return pass. It's backdoor play here and it's on. They're finding space on the edge. Heretonga as their number five. It's Paiwa. He's gone into contact. So Brown looks to continue to go short as Lambert feeds the edge and they go to ground Heretonga. So just looking to get over the advantage line. As we see Richie, good footwork into contact and the big number one, that's Nadal and Ivalu with a strong carry through the middle. They like the pick and goes through the middle here, Heretonga. Good transition to get to the breakdown, so they've got the ball back and Richie's going to have another, another good carry. He's not the biggest frame, but he's beautiful with his footwork and so is the big number 10, Tulio, who... Takes it into contact now. Kitty Kitty Lord. Great job over the ball. Nuisance at the breakdown, and Hedetonga tried to come in through the side and tidy it up, but unfortunately, they've given away possession, so it will be possession to Kitty Kitty Lord. 
as we find touch Cole Northcott there the sideline official with the flag in the air and just around that halfway mark McCarthy goes to work as we see McEwen Arnold captain Liam Sturm at the front jumper position and they come to the front fake and then try and manipulate but they do go to the back it's a beautiful line out there so if they can tidy up that set piece they're going to be able to go to Mahi all day as Russ wants clean ball Patuawa out here to Lunovic and he's a wee bit isolated but good work with a support play so they've tidied up that ruck as Russ gives it out here Kōkuku he's back door the white tie and white tie just needs to carry into contact it wasn't really on there and now here Tonga looks like they've stolen the ball so Brown passes it out to Paiwai who's gone into contact and their return play here Good work here from Heretonga as they look to strike through the middle channel. Brown goes the same way. And Tulio has plugged the corner and he's overcooked it. So Kiri Kiri Roa will get another chance. With ball in hand. Oh, they've gone early. Oh, referee. Decides that it, that the lineout was set. inside ball now it's a, well, it's a there's space here on the edge here and Mac has nudged it into the corner Curtis Hunter he's got men inside him he's almost oh the referee's caught caught it out he's cut up his flag it's close work there for Kitty Kitty Lord Hunter tried to throw the ball in, in the field of play and unfortunately he the touchies put it out in the three men I was talking about. We've got Mitch Swan, Ollie Gruen, and Kalis Putukul. Three key strike weapons for Kiri Kiri Law. They're all on the field. And so that will give Kiri Kiri Law a bit of strike power for the remainder of the second half. As Heretonga look to crash play this, they'll want to exit as soon as possible when Liam Stern tried to get over the ball. They're under pressure, but it's a smart move here for Robinson. Robinson's got a man inside. He's got the ball up here to their fullback. He plugs the corner, and there's a good kick chase here. Ollie Mathis, he's just come onto the field. He's going to want to dive on this. He does well to just stay on his feet and tidy it up because he's under huge amounts of pressure. 
and Patuel was going to try and get rid of the ball and that's a good kick now but Tulio has found, man out, found a man outside him it's the big number 8 McNaughton who's delivered to his outside backs so Hede Tonga with the ball out on the edge here as Kitty Kitty as Kitty Kitty counter the counter rockets good <laughs> counter right there from Kitty Kitty Door there they want a possession, then they knew they were under the pump, and Grant Stewart, he's, he's caught hands on the ruck. So rightfully so. Kitty Kitty to a possession. Julio, who has done well with the ball today. Time is off, so both teams circle up and go back to the drawing board. Good work here from the Kitty Kitty Roa Physio, who's was out there nice and early. Poor head. Love your work, buddy. Go, Hamilton boys. As referee Grant Stewart, he's he's ready to blow time back on. Still 15 apiece at the final.
And we pack, and it is a head of towing a scrum. Brown, he's taken off the headgear. And it is a good, solid feed there. So Hastings boys, with a simple carry, they want to look to exit. They set a wall, and they've given it back to their 15. It's Lambert who kicks this down the throat of Gruen, who shovels it on to Lunovic, and Hunter's just dropped the ball. Here we go, Ash. Here we go, bro. Here we go, It was a straightforward catch there, unfortunately. Some players, Gautier, just looking up early, so good opportunity here for Hire Tonga. It's a midfield strike. And they look the 3-3 split as well. As referee Grant Stewart, he calls the scrum. And it's a good shove there from Hiritonga. They wheeled it the way they wanted it. And it's a wraparound play. Good work there from Tuliau, who shovels the ball here to one of his strong ball carriers. And the ball's hit the ground, and it's a good pick up there from the number one, Nala Nivanu. But Kirikiriroa, they've picked up loose ball, and Patuawa gives, gives the ball into space. Mathis, who's shoveled the ball wide in. Both teams guilty here of forcing a few unnecessary errors. It's been a bit of a sloppy second half with a long stoppage of play and I'm sure both teams will look to find a bit of continuity moving into the later half of this, this second half because we're still locked up. It's 15 all. Here they a ball at the Rarangi, and their strikes have been quite successful, and it's a more here. They haven't engaged Kirikiriroa, and therefore Hastings popped the ball out and then carried into contact. So good IQ from them to read that picture as Here Tonga set up to carry and attack the blind side. But they've decided to go, and that's a good, strong carry from their hooker, Iosifo. Now here's the kick, and it's a <laughs> it's a charge down, but an unplanned charge down, and referee said uh, that it's going to be Kitty Kitty Doors ball. It's bobbled, probably touched several players, and so that's forced a, uh, a scrum here for Kitty Kitty Door, who... We have a good opportunity whether they look to keep one of their wingers out on the blind side or stack the open side. Mitch Swan, the halfback, he's come on for Matt Cross and he's a bit of a live wire. As Swan gives it out to Waitai Hanga, here's Kalis Putoka with a beautiful offload and it's Another offload, but straight into the hands of the second five here for Here Tonga. That's Lambert. And now they're just going to work and trying to exit here. So Lambert gets the ball and gives it off to Hunter, who's done a nice job after his early area. And Orangi Walunovic has done well, but another unnecessary offload and we just turning away position and as a result Hire Tonga just want to play down the right part of the field as Arangiwai kicks the ball and that's a pretty good exit as a matter of fact because all the advantage there was in Hire Tonga's favour and he's nudged that past halfway at Tefano. So, Kirikiriroa go to their bench. It's 
Moitara and Vanderheiden. Vanderheiden, the year 11 student, believe it or not, the 17. He's coming on for fellow year 11 student Alex Arnold. So, and here's another change here for Kiri Kiriroa, a, a forced change with Rangawa Lunovic coming off the field with an arm injury. So Hunter's gone to fullback and Dupree Marshall has slipped into the wing. And that was a nice kick there from the Hedetonga's winger, but Kiri Kiriroa kicked the ball back and he's tied it up nicely. And he's over the ball here, Kiri Kiriroa, that's the penalty. And the referee Grant Stewart seen it, he's was holding on to the ball and at 15 apiece. It's a it's in a pretty handy position, so I'm intrigued to see what Kitty Kitty Law decide. They do want the three points. After a sloppy first part of the second half for both teams. A few unforced errors and Patua was gonna look to edge Kitty Kitty Law in front. Patuawa lines this up he approaches and strikes and it's over so that makes it Tekoma Waru Kite Tekoma Rima Itifano it's Kirikiriro there up in front halfway through the second half Hiritonga, they're going to make another change as the big number one, that's Naranivalu, he's off. And replaced by number 17. And good kickoff here, so Kirikiriroa, they have the ball out on the edge as Patuawa drops the ball. But his forwards tidy up and they'll look to kick the ball down the right part of the field. And it's a 15-10 counter-attack, but he's reasonably isolated. What does Kiri Kiri do? They're trying to attack the breakdown, but it's good tidy work from Brown to tidy it up. But it's a juggle here. It is loose. Referee says backwards. And it's a strong Il Sifo. He's carried strongly today, but Kitty Kitty Law again over the ball. Lahuri Palmer, oh, there's space here. Mitch Swan's giving the ball off. And they're striking close to the try line. It's Kitty Kitty Law. The court hit it home off guard as Vander Hayden carries into contact. He's a big, strong front rower. As Swan gives it out to Patuawa. Backdoor pass for Waitai, he's dropped it. Someone's put uh, slime on the ball at their final at half time because I think both teams are struggling to get their hands on the ball. Passes to ground, I think, from both teams. And so I'm excited to see actually how the players can regather from their errors. Bit of character building for both sides. So Brown, the Heretonga, he's done well at nine to give Heretonga some clean ball today. 18-15. We're into the second half. It's Heretonga's scrum, but it's a good shove. 
and they've gone the right side here and it's a flick pass oh it's a good ball here and a few offloads can they settle the ball and not force an unnecessary pass the three goes back door here for Io Sefo who gives it out to the replacement it's, I think it's Memorans there they the second row it's a good tackle there from Kalis Putoko and the likes of Oli Gruen so they're excited about their play and it's going to be a Ararangi here to Kirikiriroa McCarthy with ball in hand referee Grant Stewart he's blowing the whistle because they have made a a change here Dallas Arata Arata Markini he's come on here for Waitai so it's not often you see Kirikiriroa empty there their bench and but they've done exactly that today as Kirikiriroa faked the front then head towards the back it's nice tidy ball there Swan out to Patuawa who gives it to Mathis Hiritonga trying to get over the ball but the referee has called not rolling so they'll look to find touch here to the boot of Patuawa, he's trying to determine which way he's going to go. Points towards Gruen. And kicks it out, so... Oh, Northcott, he's put the flag up as uh, the spectators uh, caught the ball and fell off his chair here. Good work there from uh, Captain Liam Stern, his old man. Bit of entertainment on the sideline here, Tefano is. Referee blows the whistle and tells Brown to get into the line. And they do go to the front, so good manipulation from Kirikirido as Patuawa shovels it again to Oli Mathis. He goes around the corner, he tries to get on the outside shoulder. He's carried well here, so Kirikirido on the front foot and. Putoko, he's used a bit of footwork himself. It, it is Kirikiriro ball out on the edge. Now they go to carry. Vanden Hayden, nice and strong carry there. As Kirikiriro goes same way, Swan struggled to, to get clean ball, but good work here from Rata. He doesn't need to force it, but I've spoken early and the ball has come loose at the breakdown end. Good line speed here from Kiri Kiriroa, and that's forced a knock on. So I like the fact that Atta, he, he kept it simple, carried into contact, unfortunately. Loose carry, but he's made up for it through the, the work of his line speed on, on defense, and he's forced a knock on from Heritonga. So it's going to be Kiri Kiriroa ball. Starting to get to the later stages of this match. 18-15, Kirikiriroa fighting to get a spot in not only the Super 8 final, but a home final, in fact, and defend the Moaska Cup. As Gruen comes around the corner, but that's borderline offside there from Heritonga, but referee's going to let that play. So I don't mind the play flowing here as Kirikiriroa <laughs> make a meal of it, and they've struggled to find... They catch Pascals today. And it's another knock on. Missing ball here. So both teams trying to find their feet. As we have a player down. Heritonga Physio on the field. And so both teams will look to regroup and talk about how they can riddle themselves of those unforced errors and just tidy up their game.
25 minutes into the second half. Kiritonga ball. As Brown looks to feed and referee blows it up and wants wants to reset the scrum. feed here for Hede Tonga. They've got all their back line out to the left hand side and I've given it off here to the second five he carries into contact. It's just simple simple rugby here because both teams probably want to eliminate their errors as we get the ball out to that's good work there for from Tuliao with the dummy and run now off to Richie, who's done a lot of carries today. Now, replacement front rower, that's Membrans. With a loose carry, and now Mitch Swan's found a bit of open pasture here, so he's spoke it right into the corner, and Dupree Marshall's flying up, and it's trickled out. As that's almost a 50-22. I'm not sure what the touchies decided. Here we go, Trish! And he, uh, that is a 50-22. So what a kick there from Mitch Swan. Who's given Kitty Kiddo a prime possession off the off that arangi. As they do head towards the back, it's nice tidy work as Raharuhi Palma carries and he's still got the ball in hand. Now referee has advantage, so what will Kiri Kiri Roa make, make with this opportunity? Hiritonga over the ball at the rock, so. Big decision here for, for Kiri Kiri Roa. They're five, they got a penalty five metres out from the try line. It's great strike opportunity whether they want to go to the scrum and it's, it's a good call because they do have a, a short blind if they want to play with play with that opportunity. Otherwise, they can stack their, their back line out on the open. And I know they like their, their eight, nine strikes, kitty kitty door. So look to see if Mathis decides to peel off the back here. And here we go, Oli Mathis, he does go off the back. And he's one metre from the try line. If they pick and go here, they're probably going to go in as long as they can keep the ball in hand. Miller, he goes low, and he's very, very close, but there's, there's space here. He goes for a shimmy, and Patuawa's got there. What a try there for Patuawa. He's actually, he's done a good job today. Backing himself, carrying the ball, finding space with footwork. And that pushes the lead for Kiri Kiri Roa to 23-15 with a kick to come. Rima Miniti. Kite mutunga o tenei kimu e te whanau. There's not long to go, so Here Tonga will want to strike very quickly if they want to get their hands on the Mawaska Cup. <laughs> as Patuawa, he lines this up. He'll take as much time as he needs. He's in no rush. He knows the clock's winding down and time is on 
on the side of Kuri Kuri Roa. And he approaches good. Good charge here from Heretonga to try and stop this going over, and it has worked. So it's an eight-point lead. There's still enough time here for Heretonga to strike back. And they'll look to kick this off as quickly as possible. Heritonga with the forwards left side. They, they'll probably go short here. Tuliau has pointed to the left hand side and he does try to go short, but he's kicked it a little too far. But they are going to put pressure on McEwen, who does carry into contact. Then it's Kiri Kiri a ball as Patuawa tries to find space. He's trying to plug it between both Lambert and the number 10. To Liao, who plugs it back to Patuawa. Now it's going to be a kicking battle, but Patuawa decides to carry into contact. He's carried and ran well today, the number 10 from Kiri Kiri Roa. As Martin, I believe, gives the ball, and now Kiri Kiri Roa has found a bit of space out with Dupree Marshall. He's still going. Referee says play on, so Swan gives the ball out now. Vanden Hayden with a big carry. He's a big unit and he's taking the ball now for an inside pass to Rata. Now, good run here from, from Miller. Jack Miller, in fact. Oh, it's a high shot and Stewart's now got his arm up as Martin puts his head down. Swan goes the same way. It's an inside ball here for Patuala. He's got a man with him. And it's going to be Curtis Hunter. And that's going to be the game. You would think that's the game there for Hunter. And good on Hunter. He's, he's done a lot of good things. He's he's had a mixed bag, but he gets, gets the lollies and pushes the score out to 28 points to 15 with two minutes to go. Kiri Kiri Roa with one hand on the Moaska Cup kick to come for Patuawa and after a bit of a sloppy start in the second half on both teams we have seen Kiri Kiri Roa find their feet they've emptied their bench they've used the bench wisely today and it's really helped their side push towards Super 8 Finals glory. <laughs> kitty kitty door. Conversion out in front. Patua where he's Looking between the posts and plugs it straight through. <laughs> Referee, Grant Stewart, he's blowing that over. That's 30 points to 15. With about a little minute to go at the final. There's not long to go here, so. I'd say it could be last play. As referee or sideline ref Cole Northcott's plucked the ball to the number 10 from Heretonga. That is Tuliau who's going to get us underway again for this final part of the game. Good work here. That's good work from Hastings boys. We just need to hold on to it and get some continuity going. And that's going to be a strong carry there from their four pack. So they, they're going right to left. Both teams work, working hard with their line speed. And that's forced their 10s to really carry a lot today. As another little flick pass there from Richie. 
he's done well today, Richie, with his footwork and his offload. So, penalty here. Referee had, had the arm out. It's right out in front, but I'm picking. Heretonga will want some points on the board just before the end of this game. As they look towards the the touchline, plug it into the corner. So we've got Ararangi here just inside the Rua Teko Marua. As we can see, uh, a bit of cramp settling in. It's been a beautiful day here in Kirikiriroa in the mighty Waikato. Big game on tonight at the Fano with uh, Kapao Pango, the All Blacks. They're playing the Wallabies quarter to ten. So we'll be locking that in. And it's too bad my uh, mighty Warriors aren't uh, playing this weekend, but. We'll take the two competition points. And obviously a top three spot. But I better not talk about league. As we have Union on the cards today. As Heretonga there. Hooker looks to throw this in. With the last play here. It's to the mall. And Heretonga look to more strongly. And they do that. They're going forward. And it's, it's a good. Good more here. If they can keep it intact and s stick together but Kiri Kiri has done a good job to try and push this more towards the sideline and it's sort of frozen up in there so referees asking them to use the ball and it's so oh, it's a good more stop there from Kiri Kiri Roa. they just pushed it to the corner and wrapped the ball up so we are almost there the game is Coming to its final stages, it's been a stop-start second half with both sides having injuries and, and going to their bench. So Kirikirito, it's their scrum, Swan feeds the ball, big push here from Heretonga. A bit unlucky not to win that. With the scrum moving forward, but referees caught it back, so this could well and truly be it. Next week, Kitty Kitty it all with the home final in the Super 8 against a Napier Boys. So keep your eyes on peeled for that one, Etefano. And there it is, that's ball out and Kitty Kitty points the 15. Toru te kou, kite te kou ma rima. Well done, Kitty Kitty Roa. Good fight, especially in the first half there from Here Tonga. And it's been a privilege to be with you today at Tefano. I'm going to wrap this up. Kia paito rā ātāhua, nā mihi nui ki a koutou katoa me o tāringa, me o karu. A tēnei te mihi ki a koutou katoa, kā ki te anō. Tihei mauri ora.